Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome back to Yield Weekly Beauty Chit Chat, the video that goes up most Fridays here on my channel where I share all the fun, frivolous, completely unnecessary beauty products that I was personally loving or obsessing about over the course of the past week. Per usual, I have a fun little lineup of things to share today. And as always, I will list and link everything I am sharing in the description box right below this video. I try to remember to put everything in order of like when I'm showing it in the video here. Um, sometimes I will forget to mention the name of a product. I just go right into like talking about it without saying, hey, this is, this is the Purology Multitasker leave-in. Um, so if I, if I do that, always know that you can reference the description box. I put links to everything down there. So if you wanna know where to purchase these things, read up other people's reviews, look a little bit deeper into the ingredient decks, price points, all that fun jazz. Um, the description box is a plethora of information. So anyway, I hope you guys had a great week. I hope your March, cause it's March. That's right, it's March today. <laughs> hope your March is off to a good start. Um, it's off to a pretty good start for me. It is, uh, it's, soccer season well it's soccer season year-round for us here my kid does club soccer so um that is a year-round activity but the spring games are starting up uh this weekend so that means from now until the end of may um we're going to be on the field and then at the end of may she tries out for another team for another year and then starting in june <laughs> i will be on the field all summer uh watching games in the heat in the hot hot oregon heat um no it's good i honestly i'm not much of a sports person but i really love watching my kid play soccer because she's like oddly good at it um not that i didn't think she was like capable of being an amazing goalie but i feel like anything that stella takes on she just does extremely well and it's just really impressive to me there's only a few things that she's like really ever like totally connected with but those things she just excels at them and i just i think that's really kind of a cool thing um i tend to be like averagely decent to good at a lot of things um but i don't feel like there's like any given thing that I really like super excel at. So anyway, I don't know where she got it, probably her father, but anyway. Um, let me know what your plans are in the description box down below. And also let me know what your product of the week was. Was there anything that you were really loving that you would recommend to me? Leave it down below. Okay, you guys, um, let's get into it. We're gonna start with perfume because that's always where we start. Um, and this week, I'm getting ready to do a like spring perfume recommendations video. So I started going through all of my perfumes and um, pulling out some things that I think would be really lovely to transition into the spring and summer with. So the two fragrances that I immediately pulled and started dousing myself with this week were my Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar. Have you smelled this? You need to, you need to go smell this. It is absolutely delightful it's so sweet um and and the other one is falling in love from philosophy but we'll get to her in a second this one here okay i haven't put my perfume on for the day so let's do it together oh, i love i love the little sprayer on this isn't it a nice little like spritz of goodness oh you guys okay first of all she's very sweet there's almost like a hint of pear in this one to me to my nose anyway also maybe i also get like just the tiniest touch of peach but this is mostly just kind of a sweet almost candy like fragrance um i will say despite it being very very sweet it's not cloying and i get a lot of compliments on this one there's some fragrances where i've had people tell me mm, i don't really love the way that smells which is fine. I mean, I wear perfume for me. It's nice to get a compliment on a fragrance, but I like I work from home, so I don't even like need to like get ready every day. I don't need to put on perfume. I don't need to do any of those things, but they make me happy. They make me feel put together. They make me feel pretty. They just make me feel good. So I do them. Perfume is definitely one of those things for me. So even if other people don't like the way I smell, I like the way I smell with this one, but I do get a lot of compliments on this one. The next time that you are around a Sephora, 
pop in, give her the old college sniff because this is delicious. Um, I actually almost bought a, not, not a big bottle for Stella, <laughs> but Stella really likes this one too. Um, of the sparkling sugar, but I know she also really wanted, um, it was her birthday this past week, she turned 12. Um, she really likes Sol de Janeiro, of course she does. So um, anyway, I got her the full size body sprays of the, um, the this one here, the Bieja Flor. This scent, I don't know which, I think it's Shirosa 60, 68? I can never remember the numbers. And then I got her the new purple one, the um, the vanilla the vanilla based one. She really likes that one too. So um, anyway, she got two two bottles of body spray instead of a perfume, and she was she was so excited, you guys. It just when she opened the little Sephora bag, like she screamed, and it was just so cute. Like it just it made me so happy to be able to get that stuff for her because she just gets so excited about perfume and smells. <laughs> Just like I do and I love being able to share that with her like that's the part that I was really looking forward to when it comes to like having a daughter is you know like we can connect about this kind of stuff um, you know and just go enjoy just a trip to Sephora or Ulta just to go look at things like we don't even need to like buy anything it's just fun to go look and peruse um, anyway that makes me really happy it's one of my happy like mom things <laughs> Anyway, let's move on to the second perfume of the week. This is Philosophy Falling in Love. Um, I obviously have a big bottle of it. This is what I wore on my wedding day. Um, this is a blackberry vanilla type scent. It actually pairs really nicely with the sparkling sugar, so I'm gonna layer these today. Ooh, and that is a lovely combination too. That is really nice. Oh, I love that. Anyway, you don't need to pair them together. They're delicious on their own. But yeah, this was my wedding day scent. Um, I, after all these years, I still absolutely adore it. Brings back great memories from that day. And it's just a beautiful fragrance, you guys. Um, Philosophy, I think, makes a lot of really lovely fragrances. Their fragrances tend to be a little bit more, maybe like muted, um, softer, uh, definitely very feminine leaning fragrances. Um, and this one here just, I don't know, it just makes me so happy. And I love the blackberry note in this one. It's really authentic and it blends really nicely with the vanilla base. So if you are looking for a blackberry fragrance, there's not, I don't feel like there's a ton of those out there, but Philosophy makes a really amazing one. I purchased this off of QVC. So anyway, I'll link this down below. All right, speaking of uh, Sol de Janeiro, um, Stella, so... <laughs> She stole my my uh, little tub of this. Uh, oh, it's the Shirosa 68. Yeah, it's the 68. There we go. Um, she fell in love with this particular fragrance. So um, it turns out one of Stella's favorite smells in the whole wide world is the Baccarat Rouge by 40. Uh, of course. Of course she loves a $600 perfume. Um, so that's why I think she enjoys this one so much. It's actually an excellent dupe of the Baccarat Rouge 540. So anyway, I had a container of this in my bathroom and you know, I used it, you know, mostly after like shaving my legs or whatever um, and using a little bit like, you know, on my lower arms here to moisturize and then I can spray my perfume. I can't use something like this on my upper arms because I'm prone to eczema up here and this would make my eczema flare immediately. So I have to be kind of careful. But one day I walked in there and I was like, I should shave my legs. Where's, where's my tub of body cream? Yeah, it was gone. Like my kid took it. <laughs> I don't mind her. T like I don't mind her borrowing things, but she's one of those typical kids where she just like will take something and not even think about it. Like she doesn't do it maliciously. It's just like I really like this, and my mom, you know, shares things with me. So I'm just gonna take this thing that I love, and I'm gonna use it, and then she forgets to put it back. So anyway, I walked into her room. Um, she had used quite a bit of it. So when I went to Sephora to purchase her uh, Sol de Janeiro birthday prizes, I also got her a tub of the original Boom Boom Cream as well. She, she loves that one too. So, but anyway, I bought myself a replacement of this and I let her keep the other one because she's got the body spray now. I'm telling you, you guys, this is delightful. It's a very soft fragrance. Um, but if you have any of the Baccarat Rouge 540 dupes, this pairs really nicely with those. 
it just smells so good and i love using this on my legs after shaving it's very deeply deeply hydrating um i don't think that i see any like dramatic tightening or anything like that with this um but this does have uh retinol in it it's got cocaine oil plant collagen so it's really nourishing to the skin it feels great on it does absorb fairly quickly so i'm not feeling like my legs are greasy afterwards um it just makes the skin look really nice so i love this i'm glad to have a tub of it back and i've already told stella please don't take this <coughs> We're working on it. <laughs> anyway, um, I've been meaning to do an in-depth review of this and I really just need to like do it, but I really like this replacement for the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. So when Pharmacy decided to discontinue their Honeymoon Glow, I was really bummed and I actually purchased a couple of like backups of it. Um, I knew they were reformulating it because I am uh, an ambassador or an affiliate with Pharmacy. So they, they let us know, you know, when things are changing and when new things are coming. So I knew they were reformulating it, but I really liked the original Honeymoon Glow. Like it was fabulous. So I was like, how can they make it better? They kind of did with this. This is the replacement product for that. Um, this is their Honey Glow 17% resurfacing acid serum. Um, so this is, I will say, quite strong. If you have sensitive skin, I wouldn't recommend this to you at all or very delicate skin. Just, I, you you know what your skin needs. It's probably not going to be this. This does have a 17% AHA and BHA blend in it, but it also has honey as well. A lot of pharmacy products have honey in them. Honey is a humectant, obviously, so it works to attract moisture to the skin. It's soothing. Um, it just feels nice on the skin, right? Anyway, this does a beautiful job of like exfoliating the surface layers of my skin, but because it also has the BHA, it gets down into the pores. So I like that this does double duty for me. This has not been irritating to my skin at all. I will, of course, remind you that I do have rhino hide on my face. I could do a lot to my skin and it would never react. Like it just wouldn't. On my neck, totally different story. My neck is so sensitive. Like I could not use this on my neck personally, but I can use it all over my face multiple times a week with no ill effects. So, um, but anyway, I want to do an in-depth video on this and kind of compare it to the original formula. So if you were really bummed that that was discontinued, um, this might be this might be a replacement for you. So, but we'll talk about it next week for sure. So, but I have been loving it. It's really, really good. So there's that. Uh, shall we talk hair? All right. I've got three things that we're going to be chatting about today. Um, first of all, I finished my Drunk Elephant Silk Amino Leave-In Conditioner product. Um, I showed that in my Beauty Empties. I did like that product, but I just think it's probably going to be a better fit for those of you that don't have like just 57 strands of hair, which is what I have. I have fine, thin hair, and as most of you know who have been here, especially since last year, I'm going through a little bit of a hair regrowth journey because I lost a bunch of hair after finding out I was severely anemic. Uh, I was anemic for a long time, it turns out. Um, at least since my last blood tests, um, I have regular blood tests for a, uh, a tumor that I have in my head. It's, a, it's just a pituitary tumor. It's not like malignant or anything like that, but it does need to be monitored so that it doesn't crush my optic nerve. Um, but yeah, so I have blood tests, you know, quite frequently just to check like prolactin levels and all sorts of other things. Uh, my doctor's really good about just tossing in like a plethora of, you know, things to check for. So anyway, with this last blood test, she actually called me right away and was like, you're so anemic. <laughs> Your numbers are low. You need to start an iron supplement today. Um, so anyway, I'm, I fixed the underlying problem. <laughs> And now we are regrowing, which is great. But anyway, uh, that, uh, back to the drunk elephant. I don't know why I got on tirade about that, but um, I'm just so excited about my regrowth, you guys. I'm so excited about it. But the drunk elephant was a little bit heavy for my hair, but I did enjoy it. It definitely hydrated it, hydrated my hair beautifully. 
But this uh, Purology uh, Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Spray, I've been using this for several years and I've gone through many, many bottles of it. You've seen several empties of just this one product here over the years. It's fabulous. This is one of the very best leave-ins for my fine thin hair. It never weighs it down. This has like 21 different benefits. They say um, it weightlessly conditions your hair. It primes your hair for styling. Um, it helps protect from external aggressors. It protects against heat damage. It strengthens, strengthens the hair fiber. Um, it helps prevent breakage, um, smooths out the hair surface, creates silkiness, and yes, the silk is real. Um, if you know, this is my natural gray hair. I don't dye it like this. I was just born with bad genetics. I started growing gray at 25. <laughs> yeah, my mom's hair, completely white, and she is 63. I think my mom's 63 now. Anyway, so, um, but this, I'm so glad. I actually have like two bottles of it in there, so you might be seeing this one quite a bit. I just have missed it and I've just really craved it. But now that I finished that drunk elephant, I felt good to like bring something else in. Um, I also brought um, this uh, Virtue Flourish Density Booster. This is supposed to stimulate, strengthen, and thicken the hair. Um, so I use minoxidil every single day. That is like the way that I have really amped up the regrowth. But I also think that scalp health products, which is mostly what I view these like non minoxidil containing, um, you know, hair growth products as, they really help with the overall health of your scalp and make sure that, um, you know, it's not flaky, itchy, dry, um, and just really helps things to regrow in a healthy way. So I've gone through several bottles of this. I think this is either my fourth or fifth, but I always, because this is expensive. Listen, Virtue is an expensive hair care brand. I don't mind splurging on hair care. Personally, I find that um, a lot of like higher end hair care brands just seem to work better for my hair. I'm not saying you can't find good hair care at the drugstore. You absolutely can, but I just, I don't mind splurging. So that's why I buy stuff like this. But I always make sure that I get these when Ulta is having like a 21 days of beauty or some kind of hair event that they're doing. Virtue is often included, especially this Flourish line. So I buy these when they're 50% off. And then I usually purchase several bottles at a time just so that I have them on hand. This is currently my last backup. So I'm actually hoping for a, um, I'm hoping for a another sale of some kind <laughs> to come through Ulta, uh, hopefully in the very near future. So, but I do love this product. I also think this particular one helps to give my hair a little bit more oomph and body. Um, yeah, I have it in my hair. Well, I have it in my scalp today or on my scalp, I guess I should say. So it does, um, I guess, give me a little bit more lift or volume or thickness at the root, which I'm not hating on. Love it. Um, by the way, today I am using the Kenra Platinum Thickening Mousse, and then I sprayed this over top. This is, I also got this out of my little backup stash here. This is the Kenra Platinum Thickening Spray, a density plumping spray. I'm pretty sure I've already used one of these before, but if you are looking for a great thickening duo, get that mousse, get this thickening spray, I mean, m listen, I realize that this is like not, you know, the greatest hair in the world, but for me and for the hair that I have, this is like a good amount of body and volume without having my hair feel crunchy or crusty. Like you can see, like there's, it's not like my hair isn't sticking together. It's not crunchy. It's not dry. I can brush through it very easily. Um, so there's none of that. And a lot of thickening or volumizing products can be kind of sticky. Not the Kenra product. I love their styling products so much. I don't actually really care for most of their shampoos and conditioners, but their styling products are like rock star level amazing. And I think the price point is still quite fair. They're not, you know, as much as like Virtue or Purology, but I don't know, you can find them at Ulta. And again, Ulta has these hair events so frequently and Kenra is very often included in those sales. So I can tell you, I love that product. It's glorious. Um, 
absolutely delightful. So let's talk a couple of makeup items here. First of all, this was my blush of the week. I know. This is a yogurt container <laughs> from La Fermier. Um, I love this yogurt. Have you had this? Oh, it's so good. But anyway, it also comes in these really beautiful, like little, they're little clay pots. Aren't they sweet? Um, anywho, uh, so I dropped my Marc Jacobs uh, Flesh and Fantasy Air Blush. It was a devastating moment because as we all know, currently Marc Jacobs is, uh, Marc Jacobs Beauty anyway, is being reformulated, repackaged. I don't know what all they're doing to it, but it's, it's not current, nothing's available. <laughs> they stopped selling the Marc Jacobs Beauty products. And um, one of my favorite blushes was the Flesh and Fantasy and I dropped it because I have butter fingers. I drop everything, you guys, I hate it. Um, I have a really hardcore, I don't have my phone case in here, but I have a really hardcore phone case on my phone and I have a screen protector because I'm always dropping my phone. Um, anyway, but I did not have the heart to throw the blush away because it was just so beautiful. So I'm wearing it today. Um, I basically just ground up the last of the blush chunks, the broken chunks, <laughs> and I put them in here. And uh, am I still using this? Yep. And I have my little saran wrap thing over top to keep everything nice and tidy and clean and in case I knock it over. This is that saran wrap that gives you like a really nice solid seal. Uh, I don't know what this is called, cling wrap, no. No, cling wrap, is, cling wrap is just the generic for saran wrap, right? This doesn't matter. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, this stuff here. It's not like, you know, the stuff that gets all weird when you take it out. Anyway, I'm so sad I broke this blush. But I still love it, and I'm still going to use the hell out of it because there's no way I'm not. It's the, one of the best blushes in all the land. I love it so much. And I hope that when Marc Jacobs comes back, we can see this blush again. There, oh, this stuff's probably not gonna be the same and that will probably break my heart because I love so many of his products, but they may even be better. Who knows, who knows? But let's keep going. The lip duo for the week was this, this little combo right here. Um, these were just uh, some little minis that I bought from Nude Sticks. They came in a tin. This is the Nude Sticks Lip Glacé in the shade Nude. Um, so I have this as the topper for the, what are these called? Uh, gel color lip and cheek balms. Um, this is the shade Posh. So it's just a little pencil. As you can see, uh, this one is gonna turn into a nub here very soon, which is a bummer. Um, I would never use this on my cheeks, by the way. Uh, I feel like this would clog the hell out of my cheek pores. Um, but I don't know, if you don't have pores on your cheek, you can certainly use this as a blush product as well. Um, once again, I could never, but this would be a pretty blush color. I would totally, if this were a powder, I'd put it on my cheeks. But anyway, I love the pencil. I love the gloss. I just really like this color combo. They're very, very similar to each other. Obviously, I think that's why they were probably paired together. Let's see, there we go. Now you can kind of see them a little bit better. But um, yeah, I like these Nude Sticks products. Um, I will definitely purchase full sizes of these in the future, but I just kind of wanted to try a few of them. This was a great way to do it. And then the eyeshadow that I've been using for most of this week, and it's one that I can't even link for you because it's long discontinued. It's this Laura Geller duo in Candy and Fig, the Baked Color Intense Shadow Duo. Um, I think I bought this on QVC or something way, way forever ago. And um, it uh, honestly, it doesn't have the best color payoff. Um, I mean, you can see it, I'm wearing it today, but it just gives me a very natural, pretty eye look. And I'm here for that. When I want something that I know is gonna be easy, like this is a great one to reach for. Um, I do like the shades a lot as well. So anyway, Laura Geller isn't my go-to for eyeshadows. I still love Viseart, still love Natasha Denona more. But all that being said, um, I don't know. If they come in a kit, I'll totally use them. So, all right, you guys, that's everything that I have for you today. I hope you have the very best weekend. Um, again, let me know what your beauty pick for the week was in the comments down below. Let me know what you're up to, and I appreciate you being here. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.
Toodaloo!